Faster Fluency Club Conversation Podcast, FFCC Review Week, all about motivation, habits, and Welcome to the Faster Fluency Conversation Club Podcast by Business English with Christina. The Faster Fluency Conversation Club takes place on Zoom and is a way for you to improve your fluency and confidence in English by talking about real-world topics. We meet for one hour every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and we would love you to join us. If you want to practice your English, become more confident, and meet people just like you from all around the world, and have guidance from my expert teachers and me, just click the link in the show notes. Our podcast listeners receive a 50% discount on the first month of membership with the discount code FFCC50. Come and join us today. Hi guys, Christina here with your Faster Fluency Conversation Club podcast. I hope you're doing well as we're coming to the end of the month. Before we get into today's episode with Matthew, quick little announcement. If you haven't noticed, we recently added a new time to the FFCC schedule. And this is really a time for those of you in the Americas and you're looking for an additional session to attend. It is Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern time. That's 3 p.m. Pacific time for those of you on the West Coast. And if you're in Brazil, that is at 8 p.m. your time if you're in the same time zone as Sao Paulo. So just to let you you know, we, ha- we are thinking about you. We've added a Wednesday session for all of you over in the Americas, and we hope that we will see your smiling faces in that session. Of course, if you are not yet a member of the Faster Fluency Conversation Club, the link for all of the details and how to join is in the notes for this podcast. And we've also got a nice discount to say welcome, come and try it out. And all of the information about that is in the notes. So now getting into review week, Matthew, how are you doing today? I am ready to review. Yay, let's get into it. So yeah, we're going back actually, and we're sort of looking at the topics that we covered in the months of January and February, because we actually didn't do a review in January. That's okay. Uh, It's good to change things up a little bit. So I guess January, we talked a lot about, do you remember what we talked about in January, Matthew? Well, a lot of it was about like, um, yeah, who do you want to be by this time next year? And, you know, the habits that we can form to become that new person. So it was a lot focused on, on different habits. So mm. habits versus resolutions. What's the difference? And maybe habits you can do to immerse yourself at mm. home, learning mm-hmm. a language. Yeah, all good stuff. So yeah, how about you? Did you start any new habits? And how are you doing? I actually just recently started learning Italian. I had my first Italian lesson last night. So That's yeah, great. yeah, no, it was fun. I, yeah, I'm because I'm going to do the marathon in Rome at the end of March. And so I was like, oh, you know, I like to learn. I don't expect to be fluent in Italian by the time I go, but I, I like to be able to at least read things and understand and maybe ask a few questions and, and try to make conversation and probably make tons of mistakes and say a lot of sure. things incorrectly. But I'm like, hey, I want to give it a try. And it, it's fun. Sure. So yeah, I would say maybe that's, I don't know if it's something, I didn't start it in January, so it's sort of a very recent That's habit good. and routine, but I did, I'm trying to make it a habit to do an Italian lesson almost every day of the week. And so what I'm doing is at the end of the day, like after I stop work, I'm programming my Italian lessons every week, you know, at the end of the day so that they're in my calendar. And like, even last night I was like, oh, I'm so tired. I don't want to do my Italian lesson. Oh, I just want to. And I was like, no, you have to do it. That's all there mm-hmm. is to it. So, and I think because it's the new habit, I'm like, oh, it's, I'm going to be uncomfortable. I, I'm a beginner. I have like no words in Italian. I don't know what this is going to be like, but I'm going to try to stick with it for a month and a half, basically. But not try, not try. No, I'm not going to try. Yeah, you're right. No, I am going, I'm going to stick with it for a month and a there half. Change in mindset there. Yeah. And just have fun with it. Yeah, well, that's that's the key, you know, if you have fun with it and you stay motivated and, and disciplined. Yeah, mm. I mean, you can make a lot of progress, especially as a beginner that knows, knows mm. nothing about the language. Mm. 
you grow really fast in those first couple of months, you know, yeah. if you put in the work. So are you doing anything to immerse yourself? In yeah, actually, yeah, actually. So in the morning, I'm listening to a podcast to learn Italian. And I kind of listen to the podcast while I'm making breakfast. And then I'll watch a video on YouTube, like an Italian lesson while I'm eating my breakfast. I'm trying, like, I like to do yoga for like 10 minutes in the morning with a video on YouTube. So I'm trying to do that in Italian, but I realize that I don't understand enough to follow along. And so it's, I'm like looking at the screen on my tablet and trying to balance on one foot and it's yeah. just not an easy task, but I'm like, okay, I'm going to keep going. I'll, I'll try it. That's an opportunity to learn, right? Exactly. Uh, all yeah. those words that you don't know. Um, exactly. I'm learning like, you know, I know, I now yeah. know the words for like breathe in and breathe out in Italian. Yeah. Um, don't don't know if I'll ever use them on my trip, but you never know. You use them at home. Exactly. <laughs> you know, there you go. That that's it. So yeah, doing that. I've got my Italian lessons every day. I think the next thing I want to do is now that I'm starting to do the lessons, is now take some time each day to create maybe like 10 flashcards of the things yeah, I learn great. in my lessons. Yeah. Very good. I mean, those are all things I recommend to the people I teach. So, exactly. Um, I'm like, uh, we should uh, probably <laughs> practice what we preach, you know. But yeah, what what about you? How, how's your your habits and uh, resolutions and all of that from uh, the beginning of the year? Yeah, you know what? I have never really been a very big routine person. Mm. I just kind of do things as they come to my mind. You know, mm -hmm. obviously, I try to plan things out. But so I really put a focus on routines and mm. also a lot of people I follow and listen to mm. recommended a happiness journal. Okay. Yeah. Have you heard of these before? I have. And actually I do something similar, but I'll, I'll talk to you about that later. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me about your happiness journal. Yeah. So it's really just writing about things that make you happy and also a focus on being grateful for right, the yeah. things that you have. And yeah. so that really helped me kind of to tie it back to my routines, where, where do I want to focus my time? And so now, you know, because of that, I pinpointed certain things I like and enjoy that make me happy and make me feel good. Mm. And so now I've got a morning routine that I mm. follow each morning. Mm. And yeah. it's just really, really a great way to start my morning and to allow me to feel good. Like, yeah. throughout the course of the day mm. and by following it I find that like I can give myself a pat on the back like yeah okay yeah. you started the day off like on a really good foot let's continue that momentum yeah and so yeah it's great like you know I've made it a rule to I like to walk I live by the beach so yeah you know sometimes I used to wait until nighttime to do it but now I yeah. do it first yeah. thing in the morning first thing I oh do, that's good yeah go, out, go for a walk get some sunshine get some exercise and while I'm there, like I meditate for a while, mm. come home, read for a while, because reading is something I love to yeah. do, but it's always like, oh, I lost, the, uh, there's no time, I can't. Yeah, it's one and of those things, like, it's like, you you know, you should do it and you want to do it, but you just never carve out that time to, to do it. Yeah, no. Yeah, exactly. So, and then also like writing is another one of those yeah. things that I'm like, oh, I can do that later. But no, now I'm like, nope, you come home, you read and then yeah. you write. And so, yeah, it's a nice... I think healthy routine that's also very productive. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah, um, exactly. Yeah. yeah, no, I think it, it's, you know, going back to, um, you know, when we talked about like motivation versus discipline. And I think it, yeah, it's like having that discipline, like you said, maybe in the past, you're like, no, I'll just go out and go for a walk at night or whatever. But like having the discipline to when you wake up saying, I'm not going to jump into my emails or go on social media, I'm going to force myself like quote unquote force, but force myself to go out and get the walk in the morning, get the sun and having that discipline to push yourself to do something that you know is good for you. And you know that you really enjoy it and you know that it has benefits for you, but it is sometimes easier to just kind of slip back into that. Oh, wake up, check Facebook, mm -hmm. check my emails while I'm having my morning coffee. Yeah. And um, so toxic too. Yeah. You know, you can read like a bad email or something bad in the yeah. news or, and then you're just like starting the day off on just a bad foot. And so <sighs> yeah. it's such a big difference in my life where I don't yeah. need to like, think about that stuff or worry about it not that I was super big on like mm. checking emails or reading the news before but yeah um, 
yeah, I've definitely just cleared out that time. Yeah. And, yeah, going back to like the happiness journal, it has mm. made like a big difference in my yeah. life. Yeah, no, so. it, it really does. It's it, like, it sounds, it sounds, it sounds a little corny, you know, but you're, you're like, no, just write down one sentence, something you're happy about each day. And it really, like, it really does change the way that your brain is wired to think about like it changes what your brain notices because you know yes. the brain it, we're trained to notice the bad stuff because back in like prehistoric days you had to notice the bad stuff or you would get attacked by a tiger mm -hmm. or something like that and so we're like hardwired to focus on the negative and now that we maybe don't have such like threats to our survival let's say we have to sort of retrain the brain to not only focus on the positive and like deny the negative but to realize and to recognize you know hey I've got this good thing and I yeah. can be happy about that yeah that's right that's right and so then it goes into like motivation which we talked about mm. in February yeah uh, this month and so like um I forgot who I was listening to yeah who's is it James Clear who wrote Atomic Habits yeah 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 right so yeah we did the breakdown with, video of that one yeah back that's, in right. December. that's yeah. right yeah 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 and so he was talking about you know um how to stay motivated yeah if you're happy and I thought it was really smart. He's got a calendar that he puts up. I forgot his rule exactly. I think yeah. he said, like, if you do something, check it off. I'm a big person on checking things off. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, oh so, yeah. <laughs> a little reward. For Get really excited about ticking off tracker. boxes. Yeah, exactly. And so it's like he had, like, I think it was a one-day rule or maybe a two-day rule. Mm. I give myself a two-day rule. Yeah. So if I do miss my morning routine one day, then yeah, I really want to do it the next day. And if I miss it the second day, that's it. I can't miss it again. It's just and like, okay, really the third matters. day, your priority, that's what you must do. <laughs> right. And yeah. so I can look at my calendar now and I see none of those two days. Like that's my extreme. Like if yeah. something terrible has happened. And so it's nice. I can look at my calendar and I see all these like happy smiley faces yeah and there's one x here and maybe one x here and one x here and that's life you know sometimes yeah yeah it, it you know you're not perfect all the time right 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 but yeah doing that really keeps me motivated because i i view it like a game it's yeah like okay if i i want to see how many smiley faces i can put on my calendar right yeah so that's that keeps me up yeah and it's like once you get that streak going and you've got like maybe you know five smiley faces you're like I don't want to break the streak and you know it, right. it gives that's you that motivation to make yourself do it like you said unless there's something big and that happens in your life or whatever but that that happens and I think it, we have to be okay with that as well yeah absolutely, absolutely. right Okay, well, great. So I think that uh, pretty much covers a lot of the things we talked about in January and February. We've got something different, a new topic coming up for the month of March, but that'll be a surprise that we'll announce to you guys next week, but it's going to be a good one and we'll see you then. All right. Thanks, Matthew. Have a good one. Thank you. You too. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening again this week. As a bonus for our listeners, we now offer the transcript of this episode for free so you can read after listening. Our goal is to help you improve all aspects of your English. And when you become a member of the Faster Fluency Conversation Club, each week you also get exercises on grammar, vocabulary, pronunciation, and more directly connected to the topic of the conversation each week. In addition to the daily speaking practice in the club, you'll also make friends around the world with professionals just like you, so you have fun learning and remember what you learned better. And because you listen to this podcast, you get a 50% discount on your first month of membership. Just use the code FFCC50. And if you'd like to join the club, the link for more details is in the show notes for this podcast. We hope to see you in the club.